Welcome to the demo prep room. We're sitting here in the dark because we're going to show you that a charged particle beam does indeed go in a circle when you put it in a uniform magnetic field. So this is an evacuated glass bulb and there's an electron gun in it. An electron gun really just means a heated metal filament that's easy to draw electrons off of. Near the gun that you can now see glowing orange is a little metal plate that we put at a large positive potential. So that sucks the electrons up to a few hundred volts at the plate. The plate has a hole in it so that some of the electrons keep going and form a beam that continues on until it hits the glass. Now you're seeing the beam because it's exciting a little bit of gas that's inside the bulb. So you're seeing light from the gas, but it's there because the beam is shooting through the gas. So you're seeing the electron beam indirectly. Now we know that if we bring a magnet nearby, it'll deflect the beam. So here's my north-south bar magnet, and sure enough, one pole pushes it up, another pole shoots it down, if I bring it in and do these kinds of things, you can do all kinds of crazy patterns with the beam. If you bring in a strong concentrated magnetic field. But what we're here to do is to create a uniform field. And that's what these two big coils are. So this is a large coil of wire on one side of the bulb, large coil on the other side. So if you put them together, you can make a reasonably uniform magnetic field on the inside. So this power supply is going to increase the current in these coils and we'll see what pattern the electron beam takes. So here we're going to start turning it up and you can see it's starting to curve more and more. And right now it looks like it wants to make a circle but the radius is too big. It doesn't fit in the bulb. So if I keep turning it up, more and more current, bigger and bigger B field, eventually there it is. It makes a circle. Perfect circular motion going right back to where it started. And if I turn the magnetic field back down, back down to zero, straight again. So there's direct visualization of the circular motion of charge in a magnetic field.